Okay guys, let's make a water drop in Pixelmator. So first, I'm going to rename my original layer just texture because it's a mud texture. I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to name it drop, as in water drop. Okay? <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and get my circle tool. And I'm going to draw out a rough shape of a water drop here. Like so. Okay, now I'm going to go up here and get my gradient tool. Make sure it's black to gray, black to white. And I'm going to make it a gradient like that right there. Okay, now I'm going to go to edit and deselect. And this will deselect everything. Now I'm going to go to my distortion, filter, distortion. And I'm going to use a bump distorter because water drops are distorted somewhat. So let's move this around till it looks okay. That looks pretty good right there. Now we have kind of a distorted water droppy look. So now let's go back up to edit and deselect everything. Which everything already is deselected. So now what I want to do is load my selection. So let's go to edit, load selection. And that will load our selection up. As you can see it puts the line around it. Now I'm going to create a new layer and fill it black. But first I'm going to make this blending mode overlay. Okay, now we've got this weird ready looking <clears throat> shot. So now, on to the next step, which is we're going to make a new layer and we're going to fill it with black. So let's make a new layer. Let's name it Shadow. Because that's what this is going to be. Okay, we'll have to make sure it's selected. Okay. So, <clears throat> after we make our new layer, we're going to go over to our Fill tool. Make sure our color is black. And we're going to fill that sucker in. And as you can see up here in our layer, it fills it in, okay? Now I'm going to go back up to Edit. Deselect. Now we have everything deselected. Now I'm going to go up to Filter. Blur. Gaussian Blur. And let's put about a 7. 7 pixel blur on that right there, like that. Okay, now we're going to move our shadow below the, the, the uh, drop layer. So I'm going to select Drop. I'm going to go up to Edit. And say Load Selection. Then I'm going to select my shadow layer, select my move tool, and let's move that shadow down into the right. Like so. And as we move it down into the right, let's bring our shadow below our drop. And now we've got our shadow below our drop. Now I'm going to select my drop layer, say edit, load selection. It's going to load our drop layer back in. Select my shadow layer and hit delete. And as you can see, that deletes the shadow on top of our water, but we still have one underneath it, as you can see there. So now we're going to create a new layer, and we're going to call this inner shadow. We want an inner shadow, okay? So if you want to, you can also... It's up to you how you want to do this. You can add another Gaussian blur if you want to blur it some more. It's really up to you. So now... Let's move on. Let's create a new layer and we'll name it Inner Shadow. So let's create a new layer. We'll name it Inner Shadow. Like that right there. Now from the edit menu we're going to choose Stroke with it selected. Edit. Stroke. And we're going to make the color black. The width 2 or 3. Okay. And we're going to say Inside. Okay. Now after we do that we're going to put a Gaussian Blur on it. So let's go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And let's blur that inside shadow there to about 6. And say OK. OK. Now we've got this kind of a halfway looking decent water drop. So now we're going to make a new layer. And we're going to move it to the very top. Like that right there. And we're going to select our paintbrush. Make sure our color is white. And let's paint in a little white spot there and lower the opacity because it's kind of like a reflection. Now let's select our original texture. Go up to Filter, Distortion, Glass Lozenge. And now we can play with our glass lozenge here. Or we can have like a water drop look. Like that. We'll say OK. And we'll go up to Edit. We will deselect everything, and 
we have us a water drop. As you can see, I've done quite a few. I went through this one fast. Um, I've done this one also. There's a water drop that I've done here in Pixelmator. So as you can see, you can make a pretty good little water drop. And um, I really hope you've picked something up throughout this. And we'll see you next time.